You're invested in gold. You're invested in silver. You understand pain and frustration. If you are invested also in the precious metal mining stocks, you really know pain and frustration. You can't examine the price of gold and price of silver without considering what's going on right now in the precious metal mining sector, and it is downright ugly. What does Home Depot have to do with all this? What does $250 gold, yes, $250 gold, what does that have to do with all of this? It has gotten downright horrific and ugly. I can tell you from firsthand experience, I have suffered some significant losses in the precious metals mining stocks over the last two years. The last one year alone has been unbelievable, frustrating, and I'll be honest with you, at times, very, very depressing. But are there a number of factors we need to look at that might indicate to us there's a solution to all of this? And again, what goes on in the precious metal mining stock arena does affect the price of silver and gold. We're going to tie it all together. Let's get started right now. How do you feel about $250 gold? Do you know that the last time the Toronto Stock Exchange venture had this low of volume was when we had $250 gold. The TSXV is where all the junior mining stocks are traded, and they haven't had this low level of interest since we had $250 gold. Just when you think that things can't get worse, You've had that happen in life, and then they do. That's exactly what we've encountered over the last year. And that bleeds through to overall demand for gold and silver. When we thought things couldn't get worse, you know how that goes in life. That happened to me yesterday. I was heading up to take a nap. I went out to the garage, pressed the button to close the garage, looked over at my daughter's bike, and the tire was flat. I then proceeded to spend the next hour and a half as an amateur bicycle mechanic attempting to repair her tire. I patched the tube. I went through the whole nine yards, and it still didn't work. Sometimes we get beat down even further from a point where we think we can't get beat down anymore. The important part is patience and persistence. And right now, when we look at these mining stocks, it seems like it's much, much less likely that we'll have further degradation in price and interest and that the runway ahead of us looks much more fruitful. First Mining Gold is a development company advancing two of the largest gold projects in Canada, Springpole in Ontario and Duparquet located in Quebec. Each already has 5 million ounces of gold reserves, but exploration initiatives are underway at both projects to find even more gold. First Mining is well financed, has zero debt, and owns an interest in four additional Canadian gold development projects. Because central banks are buying gold. Everybody's talking about that. Well, guess what? Thank God they are, because if they weren't, I don't think anybody else is. We know that inflows into the precious metal ETFs are down. We know that the volume at the TSX is down. We know that there's such low interest and sentiment. Nobody wants to talk about gold, silver, or the precious metal mining stocks. But there could be a big silver lining, pardon the pun, to that fact. Nobody's more important than you. That's why we call this YouTube. So thank you for joining me today. It's my honor that you're here in the basement with me. I'll put out a new piece of content every day. Yeah, for the rest of my life. You got a friend for life. You can watch me degrade here live on camera. Please help us out. Give this a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We are trading right now at depression level valuations. Sentiment is horrible. Really, the only thing we are fighting is sentiment. And we have to remember, in regards to gold and silver price, gold in particular, the price is pretty darn good. Come on, man. 
We've got $1,920 gold as I am recording this video. That is a stone's throw away from a new all-time high. And we're getting new all-time highs in many other countries around the world. Japan, China, India, everywhere we look, we're getting new all-time highs in gold. And the sentiment, the interest level in the mining stocks can shift super quickly. It's a very small window for a lot of capital to flow through. Have you heard it said that when interest comes back to the gold, silver, and precious metals mining sector, all that money chasing such few small amounts of investment options, it's like trying to drain Hoover Dam with a straw. And it will impact not only the precious metal mining stocks, but it will also have a major impact on the price of silver and gold. Because remember what we talked about earlier, the ETF? with massive outflows of capital, money will start to flow back into them as well. And then it'll be more than just the gosh darn global central banks buying gold. So we've known a lot of pain over the last few years. Look, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't guarantee that any of this will happen. But when I look at the big picture, and I don't know how you see this, it appears to me we're setting up for potential very fruitful times in the precious metals sector. And we're going to talk about how that can happen in a little bit. But first, I want to say thank you to our channel sponsor, Pimbex, if you want to get your hand on some silver, gold, or platinum right now, before this potential rush into the market, go check out Pimbex. They're a trustworthy company. Do your own due diligence, but I think what you'll find is excellent quality service, great selection, and most important, the best prices around. Pimbex, P-I-M-B-E-X. Here's the good news for silver, gold, and platinum as well. When you're beaten down as low as we've been beaten down over the last 10 years, over the last two years, we are not just in the gutter, we're at the very bottom of the gutter. The room for improvement is substantial. We talked about potential inflows into ETFs, inflows of money into the precious metals mining stocks. When you start from a number that's very small, even the slightest increase in capital inflows results in massive, massive gains. If we measured, let's say, precious metal mining stocks on a scale of 0 to 10, I think most of us would say we're about at 1 right now. And it's a lot easier to go from 1 to 2 than it is from 8 to 9 or 9 to 10. Hopefully, we'll get that experience here within the next few years. It's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. But one amazing, interesting manifestation of what's going on right now in the mining sector is the fact that considering Home Depot, yeah, Home Depot, why are we talking about a hardware store? Gosh, what could break next, right? Nonetheless, the market cap of Home Depot, almost $370 billion, is bigger than the entire mining sector combined. Hey, we're in for an interesting ride in the coming couple years. Like I said earlier, I don't have a crystal ball, but it sure feels like it's going to be a lot more fun than painful as we go into the coming weeks, quarters, and years. You know I'll be here for you. It'll be a fun ride no matter what happens. Please come back to the basement, and in the interim, I'll put up a link. You can go watch a live stream. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's Ron from Ron's Basement, live on the log flume. Say hi, girls. Hi. 